Hi everybody, long time no see. Tears of the Kingdom is finally out, and even though it's barely been a week, several insane glitches have already been discovered. It's hard to believe, but there's already a way to dupe weapons and items, smuggle weapons across saves, transfer modifiers between weapons, and even stack multiple weapons for insane damage output. Meanwhile, I've been binging the game, trying to ignore all the discoveries, but I'm barely a quarter of the way through the story, and I haven't even found my mask yet. We'll have to make do with this inferior one for the time being. But today I decided I could ignore all the developments no longer. It is time for... A tutorial. Tutorial. Yeah. Today I'll cover the first in a series of glitches with the overall theme of making Link an absolute juggernaut. Let's dive right in. First we'll look at save load duping, discovered by Zombieboy225. This glitch lets you transfer weapons across saves. It's very simple. First, save your game. Equip the target item so it shows up on Link's model. It doesn't need to be drawn, just on Link's back is okay. Drop the equipped weapon from the menu, then quickly unpause and pause again. You should see the weapon show up for exactly one frame. If you timed it right, you can simply load a file near the coordinates where you dropped the weapon, and it'll be waiting for you when you get there. It's really that simple. Just make some space and claim your prize. This also works for bows and shields. Let's see some examples of timing that doesn't work. If you don't see the dropped weapon, you're too early. And if you see it move before pausing again, you're probably too late. If this happens, just pick the weapon back up and try again. Adjust your timing accordingly, and you should be able to pause on the first frame. Let's see the transfer one more time. There it is. You can also use this to collect weapons out of chests without technically opening them, so you can come back again later. Simply save before opening the chest, then SLD the contents back to the previous save. Next, we'll use this trick to transfer the Master Sword out of the prologue. This glitch is known as Master Sword Not Found, and was discovered and optimized by Legend of Link and Abbabob. But first we have to head somewhere else, warp to the In Isa Shrine on the Great Sky Island. When you get there, run inside. Trigger an autosave inside the shrine. If it's been a while since your last manual save, you might consider making one here as well just in case. We're done here for now, but we'll be back shortly. Return to the title screen. And start a new game. Don't worry about the warning either. The game can't overwrite your manual save with an autosave. Play through the prologue until you get to the cutscene in the mural room. For this tutorial, you can skip it. You are not hurt, are you, Link? But I'm just going to check on something I heard a rumor about really quick. Look at these murals! Link! This is a huge discovery! Wow, the rumor was true. I'm nearly at 10k subscribers, and the dreaded face reveal. If you're watching this and not yet subscribed, you could be the one to push me over. Can you tell them how they can subscribe, Zelda? Alright then, you point and click. That's right, every little bit helps. All right, Zelda, do you think we should get back to the tutorial now? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. After the, uh, cutscene, you'll trigger an autosave. Once you have this, reload the save from inside the Inisa Shrine. It's almost time to collect our forbidden weapon. Break open the pillars. Use Ultra Hand to attach these two boulders together. Carry them through and over to this area to the right. Point them away from Link if possible. Rotate them up by 45 degrees. Then lean them up against this wall. 
Climb on top of the boulders and stand just to the left of the vertical seam here. Now perform SLD. Drop an equipped item, unpause and pause on the first frame, and then load the save beneath Hyrule Castle. When the game loads in, run forward and down the stairs. If your timing was correct, and you were positioned well, you'll find your weapon near the bottom of the stairs on the ground. It might appear in a wall, so check around a bit before giving up if you don't see it immediately. Pick up the weapon to unlock your inventory. Now we can perform SLD to transfer the Master Sword back into your other save file. Move up the stairs a bit first so it doesn't spawn in the floor later. Drop the message not found, unpause and pause on the first frame, and reload the save from inside the In Isa Shrine. Make some space in your inventory. And you should find your shiny new sword over in the water here. Despite the weird name, it has the Master Sword Beam while you're at full hearts. It also has the rare trait of being completely unbreakable. See? Still sparkling after a ground attack. Unlike other weapons, which will degrade with the ground attack here. You can't fuse to this weapon normally. But there is a technique that lets you transfer fusion items, modifiers, and durability to make an even stronger version. This one crits with every swing, since the game thinks it's on the verge of breaking. The process of creating this deserves its own tutorial, but I can give a quick demonstration. Make sure to save first, since this can sometimes delete weapons if performed incorrectly. First, you'll need a flat wall. Shrine interiors work well. Next, equip your target weapon, but make sure to keep it sheathed. You'll also want to collect three long sticks, which you can find around the Great Sky Island at these locations. You'll also want to prepare a donor weapon. In this case, I've gotten one with a decent fusion and a modifier, and I've dropped it to one durability to apply auto crit to the Master Sword. Drop the donor weapon near the wall, but not so close that you'll pick it up accidentally. Walk over to the wall, face the camera away, then scope to line up perpendicular. Parry once to space link properly. Pause, equip one of the sticks, then drop the other two. Drop the equipped stick, then equip the target weapon. Unpause and pause quickly, then drop the equipped target weapon. Unpause, and if everything went correctly, you'll see an error message about not being able to drop an item, and the equipped weapon should not be on the ground or links back. Walk over and pick up the donor weapon without touching anything else and it'll apply the fusion, modifiers, and durability to your target weapon. The weapon will be desynced, so don't forget to unequip and re-equip it to fix that. Oh, and make sure not to forget your three sticks. If you want a more in-depth tutorial about how to do that, watch this video. Or if you'd like to make Link invincible, try this video instead. Either way, your pick. Watch one. Why are you still here? This is the end of the video. Go play some Tears of the Kingdom. Bye. Okay, fine, you stuck around long enough. Try using the Travel Medallion in the Ask Duende channel of my Discord server to see where it takes you.